Yo, what up, y'all? Intravenous here, back with another episode. Today, I have another ROM hack in its physical form. This is Pokemon Gaia version. And this is one of the best Pokemon hacks that I have played to date. In this Fire Red hack, you play in the Orbitus region, which was once populated by a prosperous civilization. They created several monuments to their gods and guardians. Their untimely demise was brought about by a series of disastrous earthquakes. All that remains of their society are their temples, idols, and story as relics of the past. In the present day, local archaeologist and Pokemon professor Redwood has noticed an increase in the region's seismic activity, propelled by a growing concern for Orbdis's safety. He seeks the assistance of new Pokemon trainers. It features all kinds of stuff. This game in particular, I have been already playing for maybe like 14 hours. I am playing it on my Pow Kitty V90 actually. Today we're going to check out the physical form of this ROM hack and we're going to play it on my SoCal Game Boy. This is a custom Game Boy Advance from SoCalGameBoy.com. I highly suggest you go to that website, check it out, and send a message. Place an order for your own idea of a custom Game Boy Advance or other consoles. So let's pop this in here. And before we turn it on, we're going to go ahead and put it on my console dock. And this will let me play it using a Super Nintendo style controller, a wireless one in fact. And we'll get a different view on the game. So, here we go. Alright, here we go. We got a better view going here. Controlling it with my Super NES style controller. Let's see if there's a... I don't think there's any specific intro here. I don't think it gets too wild. Pretty much the same as you'll find in Fire Red. Yes. But we do have a great custom screen here. And this is version 3.2. So we know that this is the complete version here on this cartridge, which is nice. And this scene is all the same. You've seen this screen before, so I'm just going to click through this because we know what this says. We know what that all says, don't we? Here we go. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. The name's Redwood. I study our fascinating world and the creatures. I am an archaeologist. This creature is Kabuto, a Pokemon. Pokemon are our friends, pets, and work partners. With today's technology, we can revive Kabuto with our fossils. Indeed, the tenacity of life is something to behold. But enough about me. Yeah, shut up. Shut up, Redwood. All right, I'm a boy. My name is MCIV. Pokemon Master. Yes, my name is MCIV. Isn't it wonderful, though? I can't wait to embark on this. Adventure for the history books. I will make it count. Thank you. That's why I'm documenting it on video. Alright, so this all looks pretty much the same. Except for it looks like we got a window here. Instead, sometimes they have a little note there to tell you about the game. I think. Oh, it's Mama. We got this letter in the mail. Sweet, let me read it. Good day, you recently withdrew a book from the Solanto Library. Please bring it with you to the Reliquia Ruins Totem Poles. I will wait for you there. Thank you for cooperating. So, they want to meet at the Reliquia Ruins? Yeah, Mom. Didn't you hear me read that out loud? Oh, it's upstairs? Alright, I'll go get it. Good point, Mom. Here we go. It's a dusty book. Well, I, of course I want to take it with me. Why well, just leave it there? I'll be caught in an infinite loop. A Mobius. The dusty tome has been added to my key items pocket. Ma. Thank you. 
I was wondering why I wasn't running around. Da 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 da! Boom, boom, boom. And I can run now. Boom, boom, boom. I'll be careful, Mom. Alright. Zoom, zoom, zoom. As I said, I have been playing this for several hours now, so I know where Reliquia Ruins is. And this shall start our journey. You took your time. What? These totem poles are fascinating. Jeez, alright. Lady or man, who is this? They were said to be constructed by the elders of Orbitus. Enough about that, though. I called you here. Because of your possession, it does not belong to the library. It's actually a family heirloom. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. They stole it from you? You sound like a crazy person right now. How'd you even know I got that book? As you can understand, it means a lot. Yeah, I'll give you the book. That was very noble. All right, lady. Okay, I thought it was a lady. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Scold that librarian. Farewell, child. All right, what do we got here? What are you looking at? There is an inscription on the rock. It is written in an indecipherable language, though. Oh, great. A lot of help that is. Down here, we have the ocean and the beach. All right, so mom's calling. Oh, mama! Did you meet up with that lady? Strange. Anyway, I realize you could have been the for the Pokemon. All right, all right, all right. Yes, I want my Pokemon. It was irresponsible, mother. So the news is that I'm getting a Pokemon, and they're being given out at the library. Wow, the library really is a fun place in this town. You should go check it out, she says. All right, I will. It's time. It's about freaking time that I get my own Pokemon. Is this the library? Nope, that's the condominiums. I think the library would be obvious. Boom, that's the library. Solanto Library. Hello, 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 hello. Where's my Pokemon? Where's my Pokemon? Where's my Pokemon? Did you hear? In the back. Oh, why, there you are. At last, the third person. I thought more people would be interested in free Pokemon. Obviously not. Yo, Redwood, what up, what up, what up? You got them Orbtus Pokemon for me? Does Orbtus even have any? specific regional Pokemon no they have Pokemon from all the other regions come here to Salanto town eh this dude's getting old right can't keep up with the field work my research necessitates for that reason I need helpers oh yo that person backed out real quick yikes well then I guess that prospect doesn't appeal to everyone <laughs> Alright, two with the choice of these three rare Pokemon. That makes sense because that must be my dingus, right? Alright, we got Piplup. Uh, we got Chimchar. And we've got Turtwig. A lot of these ROM hacks seem to use these as their starter Pokemon. Which is kind of disappointing. In my game that I'm playing, I went with Piplup. But I'm going to go with Turtwig. Change it up here. Its natures appear to be the modest of kinds. Yeah, I'm gonna name him, uh... Turtle. Congratulations! I'm sure you and your Pokemon will bond in no time. Anyway, my healthy restaurants of Tata. Meet me in Archon Town. He's got a final gift. It must be our Pokedexes, right? Thanks, Redwood. Yo, 
question mark. I guess we're going to get to know each other. Hey, I should introduce myself. My name is Dingus. Yes. What up, Dingus? Dingus. Now see you in Archon. Yep. Peace, brother. Brother Dingus. Alright, we're on the move. You know, we're not going to play this whole game. Obviously. But, I just want to show you a little bit more here. Let's check out some Pokemon. We got a Bidoof right off the bat. And Turtle is going to smack him with the tackle. A smackle. Let's do another smackle. He's got tackles, but I got smackles. See? Smack! Alright. Bye, Badoof. So I don't got any Pokeballs yet. Got this man here telling me about tremors causing this rock slide. Gotta get rock smashed to get through that. So we go to Archan. Archan, Archan. And the professor's chilling somewhere in this town. There's lots of folk tales about the ancient tablet. Alright, alright. So the music's great. The thing about this game is a lot of these Pokemon ROM hacks are so much more than a Pokemon game. They really went all out and made it its own thing, which is awesome. But they've changed so much and made it so much longer and added so many more choices that it doesn't really bear that nostalgic feel that playing Pokemon can give someone like me. That's one of the reasons why I like this one the best is because, so far, is because it kind of plays like it's an actual Pokemon game in the series. It doesn't feel like it's a stretch. Like, yeah, this is awesome, but there's no way they would make this a Pokemon. This actually feels like a, a Pokemon game and a good one. And while I was talking, thank goodness I didn't kill my turtle. So, you know what? We're going to leave it right there, and I'm going to go ahead and do a save test. We're going to save it. And then we're going to turn it off, and I'll change views, and we'll turn it back on, make sure this thing saves, and we'll kind of close here. Alright, what do y'all think about Pokemon Gaia? I'm telling you, I'm about 14 hours in, and I'm loving it. I already got like 20 hours into uh, Unbound before I decided to start playing this, and before that, I was playing like 24 hours into Sovereign of the Skies. And I kind of play multiple Pokemon games at once, which might be strange. I'd like to hear how many games y'all play at once. Obviously not at the same time, but you know, you'll stop one, start playing the other, complete them simultaneously. Here we go with the save test. There's our save on our physical ROM hack cartridge, baby. And we're right where we left off. What do you think about that? I love it. I love it. I love this Game Boy. It's freaking awesome, you know. Now I'm kind of wishing that I had played Gaia on this. But I was saving the cartridge for the show. I didn't want to have any saves on there already. And the fact is, this game doesn't seem to use any time clock mechanics so playing a simple game that doesn't have built-in real-time capabilities well hey this is the way to go this is awesome thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the episode i really appreciate it please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already and you like this because it helps me out and encourages me to make more videos i got so much more coming these are all pokemon games and i have another crate maybe two of these they are all ROM hacks, stuff like Dark Violet. So stay tuned, and until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out. Well, that was just childhood. We were all there together, and in denial would play like it was.
was forever And in the tall woods, we'd stay out of the weather Like it was all good, every day we made it for pleasure We were saying whatever came to our minds Plain and simple like a tetherball reaching the sky We were taking new heights on the swing while it was making us fly Be the king of the hill and everything will be fine The thrill thrill of everything we would find Again, the sense of a child